Good morning. Today's options lesson is on a bearish trade that I placed on August 1st, 2019. We're going to use on demand, which is a nice little feature in Thinkorswim. And we're going to go back in time to August 1st, 2019. August 1st was a Thursday. And I wanted to place a really short term one day trade on Beyond Meat, which was dropping that day. At the time that I placed the trade, Beyond Meat was around 173 ish, and it was already down over $22 or 11% for that day. So based on that information, I figured that Beyond Meat was not likely to go back up past 182.5 by the next day. And that's the reason I chose a very short term options trade. With Beyond Meat at around 173.40, I sold to open an out of the money call option with a strike price of 182.5. Since we are now looking at on demand, you can't see the probability ITM number, which is normally under this column. Looking at my notes, I can tell you that the probability ITM number was 19% at the time that I placed the real trade. That means this call option had a 19% chance of being in the money by expiration. And as you remember, when you're selling options, being in the money at the end is not a good thing. When you're selling options, you want your options to be out of the money by expiration. If the probability of being in the money is 19%, the probability of being out of the money is simply 100 minus 19, which equals 81. So this call option had an 81% chance of being out of the money at expiration. And that translates into an 81% chance of success. This call option is trading between $1 and $1.25. So I'm going to aim for the mid price, which is $1.15. And I'm going to click on the bid and change it to four contracts because this is what I did in the real trade. And right now, the natural or the market price is $1 and the mid is $1.12. So I'm going to aim for. 115 and wait for that to fill. Click on confirm and send. And if the trade fills at 115, the maximum potential profit is $460. And the trade will use up approximately $17,000 of buying power. So we're going to go with this for now and see what happens. Here's my trade. Filled at $1.15 per contract. I've got four contracts. So the total amount of cash that I received initially is $1.15 times four contracts times 100. That equals $460. So $460 is the maximum profit for this trade if I held it all the way until expiration which is in one day, and if Beyond Meat closes below 182.5. Let's fast forward to Friday, August 2nd, 2019, which was the expiration date. And here's the chart for August 2nd. This is the chart for August 1st. And I have placed my trade somewhere around here on Thursday, August 1st. And now we're looking at the expiration date and the stock is trading 
at around 177-ish, and the time was around 11.21 a.m. Pacific time. So there's still about 90 minutes left until expiration. Let's jump over to the positions page and see what it looks like. On August 2nd, 2019, Beyond Meat was up around 73 cents, but it was still trading at around 176, 177. So it was still a few dollars below my strike price of 182.5. And with 90 minutes remaining until expiration, this call option was trading between 10 cents and 15 cents. So my goal is to buy it back at around 10 cents and close the trade. Even though there's only about 90 minutes left until expiration, I'm not going to leave this trade open all the way until the end. Because a lot of times, things can go wrong in the end. And in this case, because this is supposed to be a bearish trade, if the stock goes back up and closes above 182.5, this trade is going to fail. At this time, this trade is successful. My profit at this point is $410. If I can buy back these calls at 10 cents, my profit will be a little bit higher. And that's what I'm aiming for. This trade is taking up almost $19,000 of buying power. And that's using margin. When you're selling naked calls, you need to have a margin account. You cannot do this kind of a trade in an IRA. So this is obviously using margin. To close out this trade, I'm just going to highlight the position. Select Create Closing Order and buy back my call options. And I'm going to put in a limit price of 10 cents and wait for that to fill. My closing trade just filled at 10 cents. So this trade is now finished. I've protected my capital and I've protected my profits. So here's a summary of the trades. On August 1st, I sold to open four call options on Beyond Meat with the August 2nd expiration. The strike price was 182.5 and I collected $1.15 initially. The next day on August 2nd, which was the expiration day, I was able to buy back my short calls at only 10 cents. So the difference between these two premiums is my profit. 115 minus 10 cents times four contracts times 100. That gives me a profit of $420 minus commissions. So this trade was successful. It's a very short term one day trade. And remember, when you're trading options, always buy back your options and take your profits. Do not hold your options all the way until the end because in a lot of cases, things can go wrong in the end. Thank you for watching and remember to share the knowledge and spread the wealth.